In this video, you will learn how to install the Design Room 1 server components. Installing Design Room 1 consists of these steps. Downloading and extracting the installation files, running a few JavaScripts, configuring your custom setup, and verifying that Design Room 1 is running properly. Let's begin the demo. I already downloaded the Design Room 1 installation file, so we'll start by extracting it. Extract the files to a folder with a short path. In the target directory, there is another .zip file that you have to extract. Extract it to a folder with a short path. The file is extracted. The first thing you have to do is install Node.js if it isn't already installed. The script is required to run the Design Room server and JavaScripts. Navigate to DR Server, DR Release Management, Server SW, and continue until you get to the installer. Follow the instructions and select the default options. Click Finish. Next, you run some JavaScripts which are located in the DR install folder. Open a command prompt and navigate to the directory that contains the scripts. The first script to run is the preinstall dr script. Type node to run the node.js script and then type preinstall js. This script downloads the additional software components that are required for Design Room 1. MongoDB is the database used by Design Room 1. PM2 is an administrative framework that is used to run and set up Design Room 1. Now, you have to install everything by using the node install dr script. You'll be asked to confirm the installation for MongoDB. A path to the license agreement for the database is displayed. Select yes and do the same for PM2. The required tools to deploy Design Room 1 are installed. Before continuing, let's configure a custom setting. You configure a custom setting by editing the config file. For this example, I will specify the Design Room 1 host name to use. Save the file. Then, deploy the Design Room 1 server. You can see that the server is running using this URL. Verify that everything is running as expected. To do that, use the PM2 framework PM2 command with the keyword list. Notice that one server is running. It is named Design Room 1 and it is online. Everything looks okay. For details about the server, you can use the keyword show followed by the server name. This script displays more information about the server, such as how long it has been running, the number of restarts, and so on. Another way to verify that the server is running correctly is through a web browser. Enter the URL. You can see that it is up and running. That concludes the demo for the installation of Design Room 1 server components. For more information, visit the DevOps community site.